Hi everybody, I'm Charlie Henley from Back Industries and we're here with a new Ford and the all new Backflip MX-4, a product in a matte black finish that is a great addition to this truck and we're going to show you how easy it is to install it. Now that you've received your new MX-4, it's time to open the packaging. Inside you'll find easy to follow step-by-step -step line art instructions and all the hardware necessary. The C-clamps for mounting the rails, the prop rods, the drain hoses, the bulkhead seals, the cab bumpers, the buckles for the straps, the mounting bolts for the front of the cover, and the rails. If you have a longer pickup truck, six and a half or eight foot, the rails will likely come in a separate box. To install your MX-4, all that's required are simple tools. A 9 16 wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, a set of scissors or utility knife to trim the bulkhead seal, I like to add a set of channel locks to hold the rail. An extra set of hands or a piece of tape could also come in handy for that. And you'll see that I have a drill, but don't be afraid. This is for a simple plastic plug that's in the front of the bed for routing the drain hoses. You will not be drilling any sheet metal surfaces. Included in the hardware, you're going to find a bulkhead seal. It's three quarter inch tall with a white protective film on there. If your truck has a plastic bed liner that wraps over the bulkhead, this will not be required. Since this truck has a painted rail, or if your truck has a spray-on Line-X, you'll be using the bulkhead seal. It goes right up against the bed cap on the end, on the surface facing the sky, on the edge closest to the tailgate. It runs across the other side and gets trimmed to length. To install your MX-4 rail, you'll find that there is a passenger and driver's side. There is a silver slotted bracket that will go to the front and face the center of the bed. The rail will rest right on your pickup bed cap and shift all the way forward. Now this is when an extra set of hands can come in handy. However, I use a pair of channel locks to hold the two rails joined together while I install the C-clamps. The first C-clamp is going to go in the middle, tighten it by hand until it needs a wrench, give it a little bit of a turn, and make sure to compress the rail so that the weather seal on the top surface joins to the bed cap protector. Moving to the front, again inserting that clamp as far up in the opening as possible until it starts to grab. About three quarters of a turn from when the wrench starts to grab is all that's required, approximately eight foot-pounds of torque for these clamps to be properly fitted. Now on longer trucks, they may have a slight crown in the middle and when you get to the opposite end, you might find the rail to be slightly lifted. Again inserting your clamp into the opening as far up as it'll go and then pushing down on the rail to ensure that it fits snug to your bed cap protector will ensure a watertight fit. Now let's complete the other side. Now we're going to rest the MX-4 on the rails. You want to be careful to make sure that the cover rests down on the rails, very simple, and then the front hinge panel is going to fold out. Now we're going to install the buckle on the front of the cover. There's a Phillips screw that goes through the top, one on each side. Those are going to pass through the two holes that are pre-drilled in the front of the cover. The opening is going to face the tailgate. And then the threaded post is going to go in from the opposite side underneath. And you're going to tighten that with your Phillips screwdriver. You want to make sure that it's tight, but use care not to over tighten. Finish up number two. Get that down in there. There we go. And we're going to finish off the other side. Now we're ready to mount the cover to the rails in the front. You'll find a large elevator bolt that has a large flat top. It is going to go through the hole in the front of the cover and through the slotted bracket in the rail underneath. Underneath you'll attach the rubber washer, then the steel washer, then the lock washer, and finally the star knob. You'll attach that loosely underneath, then we're going to square up the cover in the opening. We're now going to fold the cover down into the opening. You want to be careful that the side seal drops squarely in the rails. And when you get to the back, the half inch thick panel is going to drop in just inside the tailgate with roughly an eighth to a quarter inch of gap. Looks like I'm a little long. Let's get up in front and tighten it down. 
We're now going to install the protective cab bumpers onto the panel of the backflip that leans forward against the cab. You want to leave about three fingers, roughly three inches from the side, and you want to apply it to the very top edge of the panel. Now in the middle, this truck has a slider window. So as we check the backflip, it comes in far above the slider window. Now if the backflip came up and dropped into that opening, I'm going to take this bumper, split it in two, and put one on each side so that it prevents any direct contact. On this particular F-150, I'm going to install it right in the middle. And then the last one, again, leaving a small gap so that the bumper does not interfere with the rail when the cover is closed. Now we're ready to install the prop rods. There's a swivel ball mount already on the rail, rod clips on, little retainer clip on the rail, and then the slide lock. Looks like everything fits. We're going to finish the other side. In order to install the drain hoses, we're going to attach them in the front of the cover, but first we're going to remove the plastic plug in the front of the bed. Once that's removed, it'll be easy to drill the hole for the drain tube over on the bench. Now with the plastic plug removed from the front of the bed, it'll be easy to drill here on the bench. Pick one end of the oval, go slow. Seven eighths of an inch and we're ready to route the drain hose through the plug. All right, now we're gonna take route the drain hose through the plug, route that through the bed, and then at the front of the rail is a fitting for the hose at the top. There we have it, we've completed the installation of our backflip MX-4 on this new Ford. Everything's aligned, the latches are latching properly, the cover is folding squarely in the rail opening, It is time to go out and enjoy this truck.